Hey, 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 welcome back to Rainbow Soul, where we spill the tea on what it's like being fabulously gay, Asian, and navigating two very different worlds. I'm Nathan, your American slice of the rainbow cake. And I'm Jin, Korean, full of flavor and just as sweet. Today's topic is juicy, emotional, and something close to our hearts. Coming out as gay in South Korea. It's a roller coaster, folks, so buckle up. It's like being in a K-drama, but you're the main character, and the plot twist is, you're gay. <laughs> exactly. And just like in K-dramas, you got your ups, downs, and everything in between. So, Jin, kick us off. What was it like coming out in South Korea? Ah, uh, where to start? You know, in Korea, we have this saying, It's like, why would family have secrets? But coming out... It felt like I was about to drop the biggest plot twist in my family's history. Man, I can only imagine. Back in the States, it's like you're expected to make a grand exit out of the closet. Confetti, balloons, and a Lady Gaga soundtrack. <laughs> if only it were that festive here. But things are changing. Slowly, but surely. Like, remember Joe Kwan from 2AM? Oh, absolutely. The guy's a legend. Walking in heels better than I ever could. Serving looks and just living his truth. Exactly. He's been pushing boundaries, showing that being different is not just okay. It's fabulous. Love that for us. But it's not all glitter and rainbows, right? There's a serious side to this, especially with the expectations in Korean culture around family and societal roles. Majayo. There's a lot of pressure to conform, to keep the peace, maintain the family name. It's like being in a tight box where you're constantly trying to fit. But deep down, you know you're meant to stand out. Uh... Tell me about it. The whole what will people say drama. But hey, we're seeing more representation, more voices being heard, like in K-pop, dramas, and even in politics, slowly but surely. True, true. And let's not forget the power of social media. Platforms like YouTube and Instagram are giving LGBTQ plus Koreans a space to share their stories, connect, and feel less alone in their journey. Absolutely. It's like building a community one DM at a time, plus the memes, the solidarity, it's a whole vibe. <laughs> and let's not forget about the allies, the friends, and families who stand by us, learn from us, and fight with us. They're the real MVPs. For sure. So what's your advice, Jin, for those listening in, maybe struggling with coming out, especially in a culture that's still navigating its way through acceptance? My advice? Take your time. It's your story, your journey, and know that you're not alone. There's a whole community here. Ready to welcome you with open arms. Hangolum hangolum mitsungyo heo. Every step matters. It's beautifully said, Jin. And remember, folks, love is love. No matter where you are in the world, whether you're in Seoul or San Francisco, your story matters, your love matters. Kamsamnida, Nathan, and to our listeners, thank you for joining us today. Keep shining, keep loving, and let's make the world a more colorful place together. Until next time, this has been Rainbow Soul. Stay fabulous, everyone.